Hello everybody, my name is Mel the Money Coach. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode on my YouTube channel called Mel the Money Coach, where I help you achieve financial freedom through top-notch coaching because everyone deserves a second chance at financial freedom. So this week we're talking about our I've had it moment. And I went through our journey of paying off 160,000 in 20 months Woohoo! And the reason I became a financial coach, I want to help others do the same because there is so much peace that comes with no payments, not owing anyone anything. Woohoo! So that's the goal. So today we're going to be talking about the first baby step. So if you've identified your I've had it moment and you're ready to get started, how do we do that? So first, I would suggest scheduling a consultation with me. I would love to walk you through this process. If not, you can do a ton of reading and podcasts on your own. Dave Ramsey has a ton of resources out there. Some super practical things you can do to get that $1,000 emergency fund saved are a few things I'm going to talk about. So the first is the food budget. You know, who, gosh, I mean, groceries, holy smokes. You know, it's so difficult to stick on a budget when you're grocery shopping. I mean, I'm guilty like everybody else. I mean, the food looks so good. You know, the first thing to do when you go grocery shopping is to not shop hungry. So make sure you've got a full stomach when you go in because otherwise you're going to be buying all the snacks and all the things and it's probably not healthy anyway. So <laughs> just go with a full stomach, go in with your game face on. Be prepared because they know exactly what you want and they, you know, it's a whole thing, you know, where the boxes are positioned and the colors and it's the nice music and the nice lady serving you a sample and like all the things, the smells and oh man, it's quite the thing. So make sure you go in with your game face on with your budget. You know what you're going to spend. You go in with a list. That's another one. Or another one you can do is the, the handy Instacart um, app. This was just introduced to me not that long ago. And boy, that's a great way to save um, and stick to your budget because you don't have all the smells and the colors and everyone's putting everything in their cart. You know, I mean, you can just go into it with a clear head. You're at home. You can add things to your cart and have it delivered or you can pick it up, that sort of thing. Um, so go with a full stomach. Go in with a budget, go in to the store with a list, and stick to your list. That's probably the biggest one. You can buy generic. You can also uh, switch up the type of store you go to. Um, and anyone that knows me knows I am a huge Aldi fan. I mean, holy smokes, Aldi helped me get through college and graduate school because, wow, I mean, their prices are so much lower and I'm, this is not an ad for Aldi or anything like that, but you know, and, and let me know if you have another store that you like to go to that's less expensive. Um, I'd love to hear it in the comments. I'm always looking for ways to save on food. I love it. Um, so Aldi's is a big one. If you, you know, you can go there, save some money, switch it up a little bit. Um, let's see, you know, there's other things like, you know, if you're, you want organic things, you know, all these has different organic stuff, gluten-free stuff, all the things, as long as you're willing to shop around and, you know, do the deals and all the things. So that's it for this episode. We're going to continue our discussion on how to save your $1,000 emergency fund to get started. So subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love it if you could schedule a free consultation with me. I would love to help you through this journey. It can be long. It can be grueling. It can be tough. So give me, give me a call. I would love to chat with you. See you next time.